Heart Buds is a miraculous comic made by Levyana. Please support her and her work. <laughs> oh, look at them. We used to be so close, too. He and I. I really miss his stupid jokes. If only a guy like him could tell me what to do. <gasps> You're a guy! I am? Yes! Please help me! I don't know what to do! Should I respect his wish for distance or text him or bake him a- I'm sorry I dumped you and then proceeded to flirt with you. I'm not uninterested in you. I'm just trying to do the right thing for the sake of humanity. But I'm selfish. Talk to me. I don't want to let you cake! Bunnanette, calm down. So he's mad at you. That doesn't sound unfixable. Well, unless there are more crimes you haven't confessed yet. I also may use Discord on light mode. There's nothing I can do for you. No! I was joking! Help! In all seriousness, this really doesn't sound too bad. Listen, I don't think anyone could be upset with an amazing girl like you for long. Oh, y you think so? Uh, yeah. Thank you. But there must be something I can do, right? I mean, I don't know what he's like, but if he didn't outright say that he doesn't want to talk to you, I'm sure you could try to reach out to him. I mean, maybe you could lighten the mood? Maybe with a stupid joke he likes, or something. Oh! I know what to do! Ah, this is amazing! Thank you! I didn't really do anything, but okay. No, you really helped. Give yourself some credit. Mmm... okay. Great. Just great. Genius. Why not give her advice on how to live in a long-lasting marriage while you're at it? Moron. Hello. Uh, hi! Again. Nice to see you, part. But... Uh... Hi? What are you doing here? I thought we agreed to patrol separately. Is there a problem? Nope! I just was around. Thought maybe you might need my help. Nah. I'm good. Thanks. Y you sure? It's dangerous to be out alone, especially at this time of the day. What? You mean like... right now? Yes. On a Tuesday afternoon? Yes. With superhero powers? Yes. <laughs> Shit! Is that what Mojo's cat number the only hitting me is number seven? Discomfort! You're funny, Ladybug, but trust me, I've got everything under control. You should go. Enjoy your free time. We don't have much of it. No. Huh? What? For you. Is this too much? I had this feeling you were avoiding me, so I talked to a very good friend of mine. A friend? Uh, yeah. He helped me come up with an idea to approach you. Wait, no, that sounds weird. I swear, I did not go into any details about you. It was all super vague. He told me to think about what you would like, so I thought, roses? <laughs> but... What does it mean? Huh? The meaning? It... It... It means that I... Uh... I... 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 It means that I'm so glad to have you as my partner, and that I'm sorry for making you uncomfortable. And I'm sorry if I just did it again. Oh. Thank you, Ladybug. And I wasn't... uncomfortable. I was just... confused? All of a sudden, you're so... affectionate. <laughs> I'm not into you! <laughs> so this... this is... Uh, a misunderstanding. I was never, nor am I now, interested in you. And the rose, that's just your thing, is it not? Oh, 
joke! And you falling out of love with me? I knew all along. That's why I was acting strange. I felt comfortable enough to be closer to you as a friend. Yes, this is what happened. Oh, I see. That makes total sense. I'm sorry for misjudging you. Oh man, I feel silly now. Thank you for clearing that up. Seriously. And for the rose too. It's very thoughtful of you and your friend. And it looks good on me. Don't mention it. I'm just happy to see you again, Kitty. No hard feelings? <laughs> no hard feelings, Bugaboo. Hey, what is that thing? Oh, that. That is the face of a warrior. Ooh, a very ridiculous warrior indeed. <laughs> Seriously, what happened? And how did you manage to keep it on? Well, to be honest, I kind of slammed my face into a glass door. Hurt like crazy. <laughs> a glass door? Man, that sounds unfortunate. And coincidental. Same thing happened to my friend recently. I had to patch him up. Hope he's okay. Come to think of it, he also wore a band-aid on his nose. Oh? I applaud his style. Our glass door is as dangerous as Akuma's now. Ha! <laughs> Maybe we can use them against Shadow Moth somehow. <laughs> Just us, smashing a glass door against its bald cap. And then putting a band-aid on his nose. <laughs> <laughs> I'm counting on Tiki to give me a glass door as my next lucky charm. With all due respect, you don't strike me as someone who uses the lucky charm so directly. Oh, you'd be surprised. You can't always see through me. Ooh, good one. <laughs>